Welcome back. Today we're going to be talking, I went back to a horror film because I had to watch this. One of my friends told me about it and I'm like, I have to check that out. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about a film called Clowntergeist. So when I first heard this, I was just like, oh boy. A poltergeist that appears as a clown? Like, what better what a scary thing can that be? Um, it is an independent film. I might spoil some of this just so you're aware. And yeah, let's get it. <laughs> so, uh, it was made by High Octane Pictures. Oh, I think I actually reviewed one or two of their films already. So maybe some, you might see them before, see some of my opinions on some of the other ones. Who knows? It was released September 12th, 2017. And it was written and directed by Aaron Mertes, who did Curse of the Nun and other few other low budget films. But yeah, so. The big thing with this film is it's a little misleading. It's not a poster guy that shows up as a clown. It's a guy, it's a demon possessed clown <laughs> going around killing people. So this was obviously released during the killer clown craze on YouTube and stuff. So I'm not surprised. <laughs> um, so basically there's these people that are working at an ice cream shop and these young teens basically uh this is like killer that's going around killing all these teens typical horror film setup and uh this guy's as a clown and leaves like balloons with messages on them and uh basically it's up to these group of teens that work in this ice cream parlor to find out how to stop it and uh it's okay <laughs> i guess um the acting's okay in this film it's not the greatest it's seen worse way worse but yeah uh, um yeah so basically there's some like spooky paranormal type stuff that happens first but then it goes into more of like a serial killer almost type of way like they find uh their friend one of their friends tied up on a chair and then the clown killer demon comes and uh terrorizes them for a bit it'll disappear they try to do some jump scares which don't actually work and it's a little odd music's really weird in this movie um but overall i thought the concept of it was pretty interesting but yeah the kills are lame in this film the score effects and stuff are mediocre at best and it seemed kind of rushed so um but yeah there's not much to it either. Like the twist ending is basically the ice cream parlor guy summoned the demon and to do his bidding. Which the creepy old guy <laughs> creepy old guy in an ice running an ice cream parlor anyways. Obviously we want to kill teens. But yeah. It is what it is. It wasn't that good. I thought it was pretty boring. I know that's a vague plot description for you guys, but it's not much substance to it, so basically yeah i wasn't into it uh, like if i was going to rate this i'd probably give it a two only because one chick there's a cute lead chick in it and uh some of the darker scenes and stuff where it's almost like paranormal-ish are amusing but overall it's not the greatest <laughs> to say the least so yeah i give this one a two as always, the is going to be linked down below if you really want to see it. <laughs> um, the title is just really misleading. I was really let down by that. So that's basically all I have to say about this one. Comment down below if you've seen this. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you like hearing my opinions. And like this video if you like killer clowns and stuff. Or if you've seen this and you like this film, like the video. Um, and make sure you share it too. Um, but yeah, uh, trailer's linked down below. If you want to check out and see what I'm talking about, also in the description box, my Instagram is linked there. So I always post clips of future films I'm going to review. So, yeah, make sure you follow me there. And comment future horror films for me to check out. I'm always looking for something new and cool to check out. Try to get them out as soon as I can. So, yeah, and as always, remember, clowns aren't real, people.